Welcome to the tutorial for Snake Charmer. Snake Charmer is one of my favorite moves and I've gotten a lot of requests to teach it over the years ever since I first showed it in Liquid Paper in 2016. So um, a little bit of history on the move. It was inspired by the opener for my cut satellite, Dan and Dave's Molecule 3, and the closer for uh, Tobias's Acridid. So there's a couple of prerequisites that we need to know before we get into the move. You have to know the one-handed revolution, one-handed revolution 2, the Z-Grip, and my cut Sputnik. So since there's already tutorials for the first three items out there on the web, I've linked to them in the description, um, let's get into Sputnik. Alrighty, so this is Sputnik. Um, it is possible to do this move with the entire deck, but it does get a little bit chunky. So for sake of explanation, we're just gonna use half of the deck. So to start, you wanna hold this packet in the right hand with kind of a modified Biddle Grip. Your thumb is gonna be a little bit more towards the right, and your index finger is gonna be out here on the left corner, while your pinky is also on the right corner over here. It's hanging out about this much because later on, you're gonna be holding the bottom packet with just the pinky and the thumb. So to start, put your finger's in place, and then your index finger is gonna break off half of the packet, and your middle finger and ring finger are gonna lift up and reposition so your middle finger is on the outer edge of the top packet and your ring finger goes on the left edge of that top packet. Now that your middle finger and thumb are clipping this packet, your index finger is free to move over to the left side of that packet so that in essence these three fingers are gripping this top packet so that it can move independently. Now you'll notice that if you rotate using your index finger and ring finger, you can get this side of the packet to clear your thumb if you push with your middle finger like this and like that so once you get to this point where you've rotated the packet so that this part will clear the thumb you're going to use your middle finger to push in toward yourself so that the packet moves as much as possible, and also so that your index finger can reach over and clip that former bottom packet with just the index finger and the pinky. Now that the packet's held with the index finger and the pinky, you can let go with the thumb, and the thumb can move over and clip this top packet here, just like that. So, clip like this here, and now, that the packet here is clipped, you can move your hand, palm down, as your fingers extend, allowing this packet to be flat and parallel with this one. So for the next part, your pinky is going to let go, and as you do so, you're gonna clip with your index finger and your middle finger, which allows this packet to start to turn over. And now you're going to relax your middle finger, and this packet will flop over onto this packet here. And you're going to do two things at once, which is to move your middle finger so that it's grabbing this packet here like that. And you're also gonna raise your index finger so that this packet will flop over here like this. Now it helps if your hand is tilted a little bit forward so that it uses a bit of gravity. So to see this in real time, it's like this go, middle finger relaxes, flip, and now we're here where the middle finger has moved so that it clips the packet against the palm like this. And you want to leave some extra room with this corner here so the ring finger can reach it later. So here, here, and now that the middle finger is holding the packet, your index finger is free to lift up and go towards yourself to turn over that packet so that it lands face up, just like this. Now for the closer, your ring finger is gonna move here so that it's, it can push this packet. 
and your thumb is going to move about here in preparation for the closer. So for the closer, your middle finger and ring finger are gonna do this. They're gonna extend like that. And what that does is that it allows for the middle finger to drag that face up packet out like this. And your thumb is gonna come by as your ring finger pushes towards you to move this packet up towards yourself. And now your thumb can come all the way up and close the packet just like that. So at speed, it should look like this. And bit by bit, break open the packet, regrip, regrip, turn palm up, twist the packet, push with the middle finger, index finger reaches over, thumb moves here, hand is flattened out, pinky lets go, clip with the index middle finger, the packet lands like this as the middle finger relaxes, middle finger readjusts to here, index finger flips the packet over once more, ring finger moves here, and ring finger and the thumb push this packet back towards yourself as your middle finger drags out that face of packet and your thumb can finally land the final packet on top of the other, just like that. So that's Sputnik. All right, so now that we know all the prerequisites, let's start putting everything together for Snake Charmer. So to start off, put your thumb a little bit more on the right side on the inner edge, and you're gonna do a Z-grip, breaking off about half the deck on the top packet and one quarter each for the bottom two packets. So now you're gonna reposition the middle packet so it's gripped between the middle finger and the thumb with the ring finger over the bottom packet in preparations for the revolution cut. So you're there, and now, I like to spin this packet a little bit counter, sorry, clockwise before doing the revolution cut. And as I do that, I break open and reposition the top packet of the right hand's Sputnik cut at the same time, like that. So now, left hand does a revolution cut, as the right hand does the first part of Sputnik's push through motion. And the left hand's ring finger catches the uh, top packet on top of it as the middle finger covers this part and the index finger in the right hand covers this part here. So now you're going to flip the left hand's packet over as the right hand extends and also flips its packet over like this. So now that you're here, um, the left hand is gonna finish doing the revolution cut too as the right hand finish doing this part here where it flops over. Sorry, this is hard to do slow. So, for the final part, your ring finger is going to do the closer for Sputnik, just like that. And as this is opening, these fingers can pull this packet so it flops over in between those two packets, and the thumb comes over to close that part, just like that. So once again, Z-grip, preamp motion, First part of Sputnik with the revolution cut, Rev 2 and the two flips in tandem. Open up with the closer, dump the packet in between, let it fall just like that. And the thumbs go on top here, middle fingers are below. You just spin the packet counterclockwise and flop it over into the left hand. And that is Snake Charmer. So another quick tip with Snake Charmer is the hand positioning. So for the cut, what I like to do is I like to place the right hand behind the left hand so that while this is going on, there's a kind of feeling that one packet is influencing the other. So the right hand goes behind, left hand goes in front. I do the motions and then near the end, this packet goes out and then the, right, the left hand comes back to dump its packet in between and this closes just like that.
So, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and if you have any questions at all, you can leave them in the comments, and I promise to get back to you. Other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Peace.